Hey everybody, how we doing? Uh, hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, getting ready to go check some traps here. So, hopefully uh, get some coyotes. I got a couple new uh, new sets out. I don't know if you saw in that uh, video I did um, yesterday. yesterday about um, over at the, the ranch and stuff. Uh, so, we're going to go check them and hopefully we've got a few dogs. That'd be alright. Um, but uh, we're going to part where we're going to pray and that. Um, and we're also going to probably start doing something here. Uh, doing a Bible verse here. Uh, this is in uh, kind of a shout out to... Uh, what was it, Dr. Hillbilly? Dr. Hillbilly suggested it, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna uh do that. Um so I guess uh you wanna read that sure. quick? This jumped at me this morning and I thought it was perfect uh to start this off. It's Psalms ninety five, one and two, and it says, Come let us sing to the Lord, let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Two is let us come to him with thanksgiving, let us sing psalms of praise to him. And really you know, we go through ups and downs, we go through day-to-day -day life, but the things that make the biggest difference, in my opinion, in our opinion, is perspective and thankfulness, gratitude. Uh, the more we can focus on what we are grateful for, even dry traps, you know, even situations where things break. There's purpose in everything, and when we learn to be grateful, for the simplest of things and even the unfortunate things and just roll with our day to day. It's all in perspective and thankfulness yep. and it says it all right here. So sing joyfully today to the rock yep. of our salvation and you know let us come e to him with thanksgiving. Even if even if you got dry traps. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, well we're going to pray so we can get out of here. All right. Dear Lord, thank you for your blessings. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Um, beautiful sunshine and all you do for us, uh, just be with those out there watching this and bless them and keep them safe as well and their, them and their families. Uh, thank you again for loving us. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. All right, everybody, here we go. Any sign? Um, so what we got going on is I had a coyote. I had caught that one coyote right up here, um, down this trail, down down here just a little bit, um, at a uh, at a urine post set, and uh, so I. Had another coyote, look like a big dog by its crap, um, come and uh, it took the sheep's wool off of my stick and it scratched at my trap. So I don't know if he's just an old smart dog or if he smelled something from when I caught the coyote before because I just reset it back. I'm, I'm not sure. But, uh, what I did is I come down the trail about, oh, 40 yards, something like that. And there's some coyote crap right here on the trail already. But I remade, I made us a blind set, just a trail set in here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right, right in there, right next to that um, golden seal, yeah. right there. Uh, it's kind of a low spot, 
right there. So when they came up, come up over, they'll step in there to come up over that little bit of a hump there, or they'll step down in there to keep on going. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna grab a coyote here, and I have it on a drag so I don't mess this up. Um, this and it's a pretty heavy drag. It's one of my drags that I made. So uh, yeah, he's not gonna go far, but we're gonna get a we're gonna get a dog here. Yes, sir. So, all right, guys. Well, on to the next ones. Later. Okay, guys. So we're over here at the ranch, and I just pulled up to the fence to go through. And what do we have down there? In the corner there. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, Wiley down there bouncing around. That's at that uh, burnt set. So, all right. Thank you, God. All right, well, we're going to roll on down there and see what we can do, huh? All right. Okay, guys. Well, we can see here, this is it. There's that double cow pie. A coyote come in. There's a coyote track right there. My pan's right there. Whether that's this guy or not, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. But again, that was that burnt, burnt scent set um, that we had had the burnt, burnt grass sitting right there. It worked pretty good. And then I just had some cat glands in there. So, well, we'll get this sucker out and uh, get him dispatched. And we got those other sets down down there and we're gonna go set some more over over through today so uh let's go check these snares out real quick nothing in that top one and i don't see anything nothing in that bottom one so, alright, well, like I said, I'll get this guy taken care of and then uh, be back with you. Alright, later. Well guys, racking them and stacking them today. We got us a dog right there. We had the one up at the, up there at the fence. And we got us another dog right there. That's that's three dogs right uh, right here. All right, thank you, God. Awesome. All right, well, I guess I better take care of them. I gotta look. I have a that trail set right in there too. I gotta look and see um, if anything grabbed in that one or not. Well, let's just walk over there and see. My good buddy uh, Brandon he uh, he be, doesn't look like I got anything over there. Doesn't look like anything went through um, that I can see from this side. Um, anyways, my good buddy Brandon. Um, we grew up together and trapping together and stuff. He'd be happy. That said, it was a big hole, but it was kind of a step down. The leggets. Um, he used to always do those sets. He used to love those sets. He caught a lot of stuff on those step down sets so there's to you Brandon um, wish you could be out here trapping with me so alright guys well I'm gonna get these guys dispatched and get this remade and then I'm gonna head up up in there and put some sets in and I'm gonna head up uh, right over in there sorry the sun's in the way but and put some snares and some sets in up there so alright Catch you later guys Okay guys, so 
Um, it's a little later than, I didn't realize it was so late when I got over here. Um, and I gotta keep moving. I'm not gonna get in all the sets that I wanted to get in. Um, I promised my wife that I'd take her hunting. And, uh, yeah, so I gotta do that. I thought I'd show you two of the sets that I made. This is kind of a corner right here and funnels up. This is where we saw that coyote run up the other day, yesterday. And this ditch, I don't know if you can see it or not, runs up through there, comes down through. There's trails that come across here, but I've got kind of a flat set type curiosity set. Um, and underneath there, I got some, uh, just some uh, cat glands up underneath there that I, I did myself. So, got us a trap there. And then over there, right off that point, I'm not going to run over there, but right off that point right there, I got a double dirt hole. So, um, I just want to say something here quick. Um, I really got to give a, I guess you call it a shout out, whatever you want to call it, a big thank you to my father for uh, introducing me to trapping. Um, you know, honestly, I wouldn't be doing this uh, if it wouldn't be for him. So, Pop, I thank you much. I appreciate it. It's. Uh, I wish you were out here as well as Brandon and a couple other buddies I used to trap with, Casey and Brian. It'd be awesome if they'd be out here trapping with me, but it's just how it goes. But, uh, again, I just want to say thanks, Dad. So, all right, guys. Um, I probably won't say anymore um i gotta keep rolling so get back to the house so i guess with that being said take care guys god bless and we'll catch you on the next video have a good one